Okay, so for question number one, uh, we have to find fill in the blanks yeah, where uh, we are given with the either with the first term, common difference, nth term, or the n number of terms, and one of them is missing. So we have to find the this missing terms, and we are going to use the formula of the nth term. So the formula of the nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. So our first one is a is 7, d is 3, n is 8, and nth term is missing. So nth term formula is a plus n minus 1 into d. And nth term a and n is 8. So I will just write down 8 here. Is 8, a is 7, plus n is 8 minus 1, d is 3. So that gives me 7 plus 8 minus 1 is 7, 7 into 3 is 21, so 7 plus 21 is 28, so answer for this is 28. And moving on to the second part. So the second part, for second part, a is minus 18, D is missing, N is 10, and N term is 0. And we know that N term is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. N term is 0, A is negative 18, N is 10 minus 1, and D is missing. So if we bring this 18 to this side, it's plus 18, 10 minus 1 is 9, and D is 2. So this D is 2. And moving on to the third part. So for third part, A is missing, D is negative 3, N is 18, and N term is minus 5. Okay, so if we use the formula N term, that is A plus N minus 1 into D, N term is negative 5, A is missing. We have to find out n is 18 minus 1, d is negative 3. So minus 5 is equal to a plus 18 minus 1 is 17, and 17 minus 3 is negative 51. So a is negative 5 plus 51, which gives us 46. So a is 46. And coming on to the fourth one, A is negative 18.9, D is 2.5, N is missing, and Nth term is 3.6. So Nth term is A plus N minus 1 into D is 3.6, negative 18.9, plus n minus 1 into d. So it's 3.6 plus 18.9. Okay, and we do have the value of d. So it's n minus 1, d is 2.5. So it's n minus 1 into 2.5. So 3.6 plus 8.9 is 9, and 6 is 15.8, and 3 is 11 and 112, so it's 22.5, so n minus 1 is 2.5, let me just confirm it's 3.6 and 18.9, so it's 15, 8, 3, 11, and 12, so it's 22.5, okay, and now n minus n, n minus 1 is equal to 2.5 divided by 2.5, so it's 225 by 25, and 25, 5 other 25, 5 fours are 25, and it's 9. So n minus 1 is 9, so that gives us n is equal to 12. So the fourth one is n is 10. And for the fifth one, let's solve the fifth one. Yes, the fifth one, A is 3.5, D is 0, N is 5, and we have to find the nth term. So the nth term is A plus N minus 1 into D, A is 
3.5 so in this and zero so whatever the result is here it's zero and 3.5 is zero because in the end we have to it multiplied by zeros is 3.5 so our answer is 3.5 so that solves our question number one thank you for watching Okay, so for question number two, we have to choose the correct option. And for the first one, we have to th find the 30th term of the AP. So given AP is 10, 7, 4, and here A is 10, D is 7 minus 10, that's minus 3. So we know that the 30th term is A plus 29, D A is 10 plus 29 into minus 3, which gives us 9 3 are 27 3 2 are 6 and 87 so it's minus 77 so c is the option okay and coming on to the left term of this ap so this ap next ap is minus 3 minus half 2 so a is negative 3 d is negative half minus of minus 3 which gives minus half plus 3 and that is 2 minus 1 plus 6 that gives 5 by 2 and our 11th term 11th term should be equal to a plus 10 d a is minus 3 plus 10 into d is 5 by 2 it's 5 so minus 3 plus 25 which gives us 20 so b is the correct option so that finishes our question number two. Thank you for watching. Okay, for question number three, we have to find the missing terms in the boxes. For the first one, A is two, and the number of terms are three. So it's one, two, and three. So N is three, and this is the third term. So A3 is 26, and we know that A3 is A plus 2D and a is 2 so 2 plus 2d and 2d is 24 so that gives us d 12 and d is 12 so we can easily find the second term second term is a plus d so it's 2 plus d is 12 so it's 14 so our missing term is 14 for the first one moving on to the second one so total number of terms here are four it's one two three and four and this is the second term so it's a2 is 13 and this is the fourth term so a4 is 3 so a2 is a plus d is 13 and a4 is a plus 3d is 3 and if we subtract these terms that is a plus d and a plus 3d so let's subtract these terms so that gives us minus 2d 13 minus 3 is 10 and d is negative 5. okay so the d is negative 5 so from any of these equations we can find a so a plus let's put in the value of d here so it's 3 into minus 5 is equal to 3 it's negative 15 3 and a is 18 so the first term is 18 and this is the third term so the third term is a plus 2d so a is 18 plus 2 into d is negative 5 so 18 minus 10 is 8 so this is 8 18 and 8 okay coming on to the third one okay so this third one it has total terms n is equal to 4 a is 5 and fourth term is nine and a half so the fourth term can be written as fourth term is a plus 3d and it can be written as 19 by 2 so a is 5 plus 3d is equal to 19 by 2 3d is equal to 19 by 2 minus 5 which gives us 19 minus 10 so it's 19 by 2 9 by 2 so it's actually 3d 
and d is it's three gets cancelled is three so d is three by two so d is three by two we can find out we already have a so our second term is a plus d so a is five plus three by two which gives us n plus three by two so it's 13 by 2. So this is 13 by 2 and coming on to the third term. For the third term 13 by 2 can be written as 6 and half. So I can write it as 6 and half. So instead here to match the answer is 6 and half and now our the third term so the third term a3 is actually a plus 2d a is 5 2 into d is 3 by 2 so it's 8 so this is a okay so coming on to the fourth part total number of terms are n it's 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 first term is negative 4 and six term is six so six means a plus five d and a is negative four plus five d is equal to six so five d is ten and d is two so if d is two then second term is a plus d a plus d that is minus four plus two is minus two so this is minus two third term is a plus 2d so it's minus 4 plus 2 into 2 is 4 so it's 0 so this one is 0 and coming on to the fourth the fourth term is a plus 3d so a is negative 4 plus 3 into d is 2 it's minus 4 plus 6 which is 2 so this one is 2 and coming on to the fifth term so fifth term is actually a plus 4d and a is negative 4 4 into d is 2 so it's negative 4 plus 8 which is 4 so this is 4 okay so we are left with the final one the fifth one and for fifth one n is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so n is 6 and we are given that a2 second term is 38 and the sixth term is negative 22. So a2 is a plus b. a6 is a plus 5d and if we subtract these equations it gives us negative 4d is equal to 38 plus 82 is 60. So D is negative 15. Okay. So because we have D, so we can use any of these equations to find out A. So A plus D was 38 and D is negative 15. So that gives us a as 38 plus 15, that is 3, 3, 4, and 5. So a is 53. Right. And a is 53. So I will just leave it as now we have a as 53. And or D was negative 15. So D was negative 15. Sorry. So D is negative 15 and A is 53. Okay, so the third term that is A3 is A plus 2D. Okay. A is 15. 3 plus 2 into negative 15 that is 53 minus 30 so that gives us 23 so <laughs> this is 23 and coming on to the fourth term 
a plus 3. So a is 53 plus 3 into minus 15, which is 53 minus 45. So 53 minus 45, 13 minus 5 is 8. So this is 8. Coming on to the fifth one. Fifth one is A plus 4D. And A is 53. So 4 into minus 15. So that is 53. And it's minus 60. So that gives us minus 7. So this is minus 7. So that finishes our question number 3. Thank you for watching. So coming on to question number four, we have to check which term of this given AP is 78. So <clears throat> our given AP is 3, 8, 13, 18. Okay, now for this A is 3 and D is 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So actually we have given with the term and we have to find the number of this term. So let's say this term is the nth term. We don't know the number for this. So let's, it's an nth term. So it's a plus n minus one into d is equal to 78. a is three, n minus one into d. d is five. So it's, okay, so it's n minus one into five is equal to 78 minus three, that's 75. Now n minus 1 is 75 divided by 5, which gives us 15. So n is 16. So this is the 16th term of an AP. Thank you for watching. So for question number 5, we have to find the number of terms in each of the following APs. And the first one is 7, 13, 19, 205. So if we are able to find the number of this term, because this is the last term that will give us the number of terms in this AP. So in this case, A is 1 and D is 19 minus 13, it's 6. So let this be the nth term of an AP. And we know that the nth term is A plus 9 minus 1 into D. That's so a is 7 and n minus 1 into d is 6 so this is d and i'm not going to open the bracket i'm just going to take 7 to the other side so it's n minus 1 into 6 is equal to 205 minus 7 so that gives me 8 and 9 and 1 okay so n minus 1 is now divided by 6. So 6 3 is 18 and 6 3 is 18. So n is 34. So this is the number of terms in this 1 r 34. So moving on to the second part. Same case. So a is 18 and d is let's say 13 minus 15, 1 by 2, which gives me 13 minus 31 by 2. So it's 2, 26 minus 31, which gives me 5. And okay, it's 5, that is negative 5 by 2. And let's say this is the nth term. So our nth term is minus 47, nth term is A plus n minus 1 into d. Let me just write it clearly. It's nth term is equal to negative 47. So a, a is 18 plus n minus 1 into d is negative 5 by 2 is minus 47. I'm just going to take 18 to the other side. It's n minus 1 into minus 5 by 2 is equal to negative 47 minus negative 18. So that gives us 8, 7, 15, 4, 5, 6, negative 5 by 2, negative, negative gets cancelled. So n minus 1 is 65 into 2 by 5. So it's 
5, 3, 15, and n minus 1 is 26. That gives us n as 27. So the number of terms for the second one are 27 for this one. So that's all for the question number 5. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number 6, we have to check if minus 150 belongs to this AP or not. So our AP is 11, 8, 5, and 2. So here A is 11, D is 8. So D is 8 minus 11 is equal to minus 8. Okay, and now if my 1 minus 150 belongs to this AP, then it should have the number. So like this term is the first term, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth. So it should have a number, that is n should be some positive integer for this. So let's assume that this is a term of AP, let's say nth term. And if n comes out to be a positive integer, then it's the term of the AP, else it's not. So n term is a plus n minus 1 into d. And a is 11 plus n minus 1. D is negative 3, so it's negative 150. And n minus 1 into negative 3 is equal to negative 150 minus. So this is negative 161. And n minus 3 minus 3 negative negative gets cancelled. So n minus 1 is 161 by 3. So... <coughs> This 161 is not divisible by 3, and if I add 161 to this side, so that gives me 161 plus 3, which is 164 by 3, and 164 is not divisible by 3, so 3 fives are 15, and 14 3 fours are 12.6. So n is not a positive integer, which is not a positive integer so this minus 150 is not a, a term of given if so minus 150 is not a term of given AP. so this also our question number six thank you for watching Okay, so for question number 7, we have to find the 31st term of an AP, whose 11th term is 38 and 16th term is 73. So 31st term means we have to find A31 and 11th term means A11 is 38 and A16 term means A16 is 73. So A11 means A plus 10D is equal to 38 and A16 means A plus 15D is equal to 73. And now, <clears throat> yeah, this a plus 10d, let's try to subtract these equations. So this is equation 1 and equation 2. So a plus 10d and a plus 15d, let's try to subtract these equations. And this gets cancelled. So 10d minus 15d is negative 5d and 38 minus 73 so 73 minus 38 is 5 3 minus 35 so that gives us d is 7 so d is 7 which means from 1 we can from 1 we can get a so it's a plus 10 into 7 is equal to 38 so a is 38 minus 70 which gives us 70 minus 38 is 2 1 12 negative 12 okay so negative 12 and 10 a 2 6 3 32 is minus 32 and we have to find the 31st term. So 31st term is A plus 30D, which gives A is minus 32. So this is minus 32 plus 30 into D is 7. So this gives us minus 32 plus 210. 10 minus 2 is 8. And let me 7. 
So <clears throat> it's 7 and 1, so it's minus 178. So our 31st term is 178. So this is our 31st term. So we're done with this. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number eight, an AP consists of 50 terms. That means the number of terms are 50, of which third term, third term A3 is 12, and the last term. So there are total number of 50 terms. So the last term is 106, means 50th term is 106, and we have to find the 20th, 29th term. So for this, we have to find A and D. So A3 is actually A plus 2D is our equation 1 and A50 is A plus 49D that is our equation 2 and if we subtract these two equations by using this column method so it's negative negative change the sign so it gets, gets cancelled 2 minus 49D is minus 47D and 12 minus 106 is 624 and it's 106 minus 12 so 4 and 9 so it's minus 94 so this gets cancelled and d is 94 divided by 47 which is 2 so d is 2 and now from first equation we can get we if we replace the value of d our 12 minus 4 a is 8 so a is 8 and now our 29th term is a plus 28 d which gives us a a is a 28 into d is 2 so it's 8 plus 28 into 8 to 16 56 and 86 is 14 is 64 so for 8, it's 64. So our 29th term is 64. That's also question number 8. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number 9, it says that the third and ninth terms of an EP are 4 and minus 8. So our third term is 4. And First third term is 4 and ninth term, it's actually ninth term. So A9 is negative 8. And we know that third term is A plus 2D, that's equal to 4, this is equation 1. And ninth term, that is A plus 8D is equal to negative 8, that's let's say that's our equation 2. And we have to find which term of the AP is 0. So let's subtract these equations to get A and D. So A plus 2D is 4. And A plus 8D is negative 8. If we subtract these equations by changing the signs of the second one, it's minus 6D is equal to 8 plus 4 is 12. And D is negative 2. So this is D. And um, one which is a plus 2d is equal to 4 if we replace the value of d that is minus 2 and this gives us it's a 4 plus 4 is a so a is 8 and we have to check which term of this ap is 0 so there is a term we have to check its number so let's say nth term is 0 and it's a plus n minus d is equal to 0, replacing the value of a and d, a is 8, n minus 1, d is negative 2, let's say is equal to 0, so n minus 1 into negative 2 is equal to negative 8, this gets cancelled, n minus 1 is 4, if we divide 2 by 4, then n is 5. So fifth term of this AP is 0. And that's also the question number nine. Thank you for watching. Coming on to question number 12. It says that the 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. So let's try to understand the meaning of this. So when I say 5 exceeds 
3 by 2. So that means pi minus 3 is equal to 2. Now 17th term. This term exceeds its 10th term of the same AP. So 10th term by 7. So that means 17th term means A17. Exceeds means difference. Its 10th term means A10 is equal to 7. So now 17th term is A plus 16D minus 10th term is A plus 9D which is equal to 7. So this gives me A plus 16D when I open the bracket. So signs are changed. So A and A gets cancelled. 16 minus 9D is 7D is equal to 7. So that gives me D is 7 by 7. That's equal to 1. So D is 1. And that solves our question number 10. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number 11, so it says the which term of this AP will be 132 more than its 54th term. So our given AP is 3, 15, 27, and 39. So A is 3, and D is 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. And now it says which term, so let's say it's the nth term. And will be 132 more means 132 plus 54th term means A54. And nth term means A plus N minus 1 into D of the same AP. 132 plus A54 is A plus 53D. A and A gets cancelled. So N minus 1D is 12. So it's 132 plus 53 and d is 12. so it's 10 minus 1 into 12 is equal to 132 plus 53 into 12 is 636 so it's 636 and 132 plus 636 is 628 6 and 7 so n minus 1 is equal to divided by 12 12 6 are is 72 48 and 12 4 are is 48 so n is 64 plus 1 that is 65 so 65th term so 65th term is 132 more than 54th term so this is also question number 11 thank you for watching okay so for question number 12 it says that there are two APs have the common difference. So let common difference of two APs be B. And now the difference between the hundredth terms is under. So there are two APs. So let A be the first term of one AP and A dash be the first term of the second AP. So let A be first term of first AP and A dash be first term of second AP. And now the difference between the hundredth term. So Hundredth term of first AP minus hundredth term of second AP. So hundredth term of second AP is hundred. So hundredth term of first AP means A plus ninety nine D. And the hundredth term of second AP is A dash because its first term is A dash plus 99D is equal to 100. And if we open up the bracket, so it's A plus 99D minus A dash minus 99D is equal to 100. This gets cancelled and now A minus A dash is 100. So let's see this is our result 1. Now we have to find the difference between the thousandth term. So thousand term of 
first if we minus thousand term of second AP. So thousand term of first AP is A plus nine to ninety nine B minus thousand term of second AP is A dash plus nine to ninety nine B. And if we open this bracket, is a plus nine ninety nine d minus a dash minus nine to ninety nine d. So this gets cancelled, and we are left with a minus a dash and a minus a dash is hundred. So this gives us an important result that if two aps have common difference, and then if the difference between the their same number of terms is is let's say hundred, then exactly the same difference will be between their the another same the same nth number of terms so this solves our question number 12 thank you for watching this is for question number 13 we have to find how many three digit numbers are divisible by seven so three digit numbers start from 100 but the number that is divisible by seven starts from so three digit numbers that are let's say divisible by seven are so three digit number starts from hundred but hundred is not divisible by seven so if we check the number hundred and five. So this is the number that's divisible by seven. So the first number is 105, and the next will be 112, the next will be 119. If we go on adding seven, and the last three digit number is 999, but that is not divisible by seven. And so if we check, it's the 9994. That's the last three digit number that's divisible by seven, and these, numbers that are divisible by seven that is the three digit numbers these forms an ap so it forms an ap so that means a is 105 and d is 112 minus 105 that's seven obviously seven and we have to find that how many that means we have to find the number of this last term so let's say this is n term is 994 and it's a plus n minus 1 into d is 994 a is 105 plus n we have to find out it's 7 d is 7 so now n minus 1 into 7 is 994 minus 105 so 14 minus 5 is 9 so it's 994 minus 105 which is 98889 so this is 889 so n minus 1 is 889 divided by 7 so 7 by 7 1 plus 7 18 and 7 to the 14 7 7 the 49 so n minus 1 is 127 which gives n is 127 plus 1 which is 128 so our there are 128 numbers there are three digit numbers that are divisible by seven. So this solves over question number 13. Thank you for watching. So coming on to question number 14, it says that how many multiples of four uh, lie between 10 and 250? So multiples of four, the two digit multiple of four is 12. So multiples of four that lie between 10 and 250 are first one is 12 then 16 then 20 then 24 and we have to go up to 250 so 250 is not divisible by four and two, it's 248, and that's divisible by 4. So its last one is 248 between 10 and 250. And these numbers are in AP. So we have to find the number, and that is we have to find the num 
number of this term for this one. So this is an AP, so A is 12 and D is obviously four. So let's say 248 is the nth term. So nth term is A plus N minus one into D, that is 248. A is 12 and we have to find out D is four, so it's 248 and n minus 1 into 4 is 248 minus 12 so that gives us 6 3 and 236 so n minus 1 is 236 divided by 4 so it's 4 5 are 20 and 4 9 are 36 and n is 59 plus 1 is equal to 60 so there are total 60 multiples of 4 between 10 and 250. That's also question number 14. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number 15, we have to find the value of n for which the nth term of these AP should be equal. So our first AP is 63, 65, 67, and goes on like this. So where A is 63 and D is 65 minus 63, which is 2. And its nth term, it's A plus N minus 1 into D. A is 63 plus N minus 1. D is 2. So that gives 63 plus 2N minus 2, which is 61 plus 2N. So this is the nth term of this AP. And our second AP. So the second AP is 3, 10, 17. And here A is 3, B is 10, minus 3 is equal to 7. So nth term of this AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. A is 3, N minus 1, D is 7. So this is 3 plus 7, N minus 7 which is 7 and minus 4 and it's a given that these if we equate these to the nth terms of the AP so what should be the value of then so according to the question if we equate these that is 61 plus 2n the nth term of this AP let's equate this to the nth term of the another AP so it's 2n minus 7n that is minus 4 minus 61 which is minus 5n minus 65 and n is 65 divided by 5, which is 13. So the 13th term of this AP and this AP are equal. This also question number 15. Thank you for watching. We have to find determine the AP whose third term is 16. So third term means A3 is 16 and seventh term exceeds. So seventh term exceeds fifth term by 12. So that means let's understand this as let's say 5 exceeds, we all know that 5 exceeds 3 by 2. So that means 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Similarly, 7th term means A7 exceeds means minus 5th term means A5 and it exceeds by 12. So A7 is A plus 6D minus A5 is A plus 4D is equal to 12. Let's open up the bracket. It's A gets cancelled. Sign changes. 6D minus 4D is 2D is equal to 12 and D is 6. So D is 6 and A3 is A plus 2D. So D is 6, 2 into 6 is 12. So A is 16 minus 12 is 4. And now we have to determine the AP. So we have A and D. So our first term is 4 and the second term is A plus D, which is 4 plus 6 is 10. And third term of this AP is A plus 2D. A is 4 
2 into d is 6, which gives us 4 plus 12, equal to 16. So, AP is 4, 10, 16. Let's find one more term. A4 is A plus 3D. A is 4. 3 into D is 6. So, 4 plus 18 is 22. So, 22. And goes on like this. So, this is our A. And this finishes our question number 16. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number 17, we have to find the 20th term from the last term of the AP. So this one is a tricky one. And now the formula that we use to find the nth term, that is A plus N minus 1 into D, this gives us the term from the beginning. But in this AP, it's said that we have to find the 20th term from the last one so what we are going to do we are going to reverse the ap so if we go ahead and reverse the ap it still will be an ap just the uh, it will change the order so it's 253 it goes like this then it's 13 it's 8 and 3 so now our first term is 253 and we can find the we can use the same formula that is the nth term of an ap to find the 20th term so our a is 253 and d how do we find d it's 8 minus 13 which is minus 5 so now 20th term from last term you can use the formula a20 that is a plus 19d and a is 253 plus 19d is minus 5 and so that should be 253 negative 9 5 that is 45 it's 45 and 95 so 253 minus 95 it's 13 minus 5 is 8 and 14 minus 9 is 5 so it's 158 so our <clears throat> 20th term from the last term is 158 so that solves question number 17 so thank you for watching so coming on to <coughs> question number 18 and the question number 18 says that the sum of the fourth and the eighth term of an ap is 24 so fourth term is a4 and eighth term is a8 its sum is 24 so a4 is a plus 3d a8 is a plus 7d that gives us 24 so a plus a is 2a and 3d plus 7d is 10d we can take two common so it's a d which is 24 so we can cancel this and now our first set of equation is ready to find the value of a and d and the next information in the question c is that the sum of the sixth term that is a6 and the tenth term that is a10 is 44 yeah. so a6 is a plus 5d and a then is a plus 9d that is 44 a plus a is 2a 5d plus 9d is 14d that's equal to 44 2 is common so a plus 7d is equal to 44 which gives 22 so a plus 7d is equal to 22 so we have the two sets of equation and if we subtract them first that should give us the value of d so subtracting means changing the sign of the second equation so it's minus 2d and it's minus 10 which gives us d is 5 so d is 5 and from 1 our uh, a is 5 into 5 is equal to 12 that is equal to 12 minus 25 which gives us negative 3 13 so a is negative 13 and because we have to find the first three terms of the ap so our first term is
negative 13 so a1 is negative 13 a2 is we all know is a plus d so minus 13 plus d is minus 8 and the third term is a plus 2d so a is minus 13 2 into 5 is 10 so it's minus 13 plus 10 which gives us minus 3 so these are the first three terms of an ap and that solves our question number 18 thank you for watching okay so for question number 19 it says that Subba Rao started work in 1995 at an annual salary of 5,000 and subsequently received an increment of rupees 200 each year. So in which year did his income reach 7,000? So the salary, salary in 1995 is rupees 5,000 and so salary in 1996 would be rupees 2 it's 500 is an increment so 5200 so now these salaries and let's say it's the salary in the nth year it reaches rupees 7000 so now here this 5000 5200 because they said increment of 200 every year so this is an ap so this is an ap and here a is 5000 b is 5200 minus 5000 which is rupees 200 is d so let's say n here it is salary reach 7000 so we know that n is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 7000 a is 5000 plus n minus 1 d is 200 so it's 7000 and n minus 1 into 200 is 7000 minus 5000 that gives us 2000 so n minus 1 is 2000 divided by 200 which gives us 10 and n minus 1 is 10 now which gives us n as 11. So in the 11th year, so in the 11th year his salary will reach 7000. 7, so that's also the question number 19. Thank you for watching. All right, so for question number 20. So they say that Ramkli saved rupees five in the first week of a year and then gradually increased her weekly savings by rupees 1.75. And if in the end of week, her weekly savings becomes 20.75 rupees. So we have to find the value of the end for that week. So this obviously is an AP, so amount saved in first week is rupees five and savings in second week is five plus one point seven five which gives us rupees six point seven five okay now so this goes on till end week so amount saved in end week is rupees 2.75 and now here 5 6.75 till 2.75 is an a and a is 5 so d is 6.75 minus 5 which obviously is the savings 1.75 rupees and we have to find in which week would she able to save the total amount rupees 20.75 so let's say this is our nth term 20.75 
and we know that the n term is a plus n minus 1 into d which gives us the option to put in the values so it's 5 plus n minus 1 into d is 1.75 so it's n minus 1 into 1.75 I will not open up the bracket I will just move 5 to the other side so this is 15.75 and n minus 1 into 1.75 so n minus 1 is now 15.75 by 1.75 okay now here the decimals after uh, the digits after this decimal are 2 and here are also 2 so I can take this point off this decimal off so this is now 1575 by 175 and if I cancel them with 5 it's 5 3 are 15 5 5 are 45 so 5 3 are 15 and 5 ones are 5 and 5 5 are 25 so it's 5 7 are 25 5 6 are 30 5 3 are 15 and it's 9 so n minus 1 is 9 so this gives us n is 10 so in the 10th week Ram Kali would be should be able to save Ram Kali will save rupees 2.75 and that's also our final question for this exercise 6.5.2 sorry thank you for watching